welcome back to the channel and um, today we are going to be doing fuel tanks so here's all my fuel system out of the Audi that's your measurer see how much fuel you've got here's a fuel pump in and out that's the breather pipes that go inside the, the fuel tanks obviously we're going to make two one either side and some stainless steel and another another sheet there we're going to make what looks like two cheese wedge shaped uh, fuel tanks so uh yeah that's what we're going to do we've got our pieces of our tank cut to the shapes we need and this is kind of what they're going to look like um, it'll be like that that's going to be on there that's going to be up there like that and this is the other side piece it's going to be on there like so and obviously that's the top we got two of them the other pieces are cut there down there waiting but what I'm gonna do is only tack weld the those together because the fuel tank if you can remember sits in there I'm gonna make uh, cuts more of this roll roll around piece to sit in there to keep the keep the um, fuel pump off the bottom and secure in there at the same time like it was in the Audi tank so kind of I can't get that out of the Audi tank because it's kind of like preformed in there so I've got to make one on the rolling machine so um, I'm gonna just tack these for a minute just to hold them and then um, let's see if we can, we can cut another piece see what we got to cut and, and roll and uh, that'll be our next bit Nicely tacked across there. Lovely, lovely. Tack it all together. Well, we got that uh, tacked, wobbly. So the next thing is to get this mounted in there, like that. Because uh, and then the top, the top one is going to be. I'm gonna have it offset like that so it can fit in there. Obviously, sink this into the into the top one but I need to make something either that size no oh yeah that size would be better for it to have a nice tight fit so it stays off the bottom and then we can weld that in weld um, a circular piece in just just to hold it nothing fancy because you ain't going to see it. it's going to be inside the tank and then obviously that one's going to be in there somehow I don't know yet I'm just uh, winging it off the top of my head here I don't know how, uh, how we're going to fix that in there but um, I'll come up with something <laughs> so uh, we're going to cut some more stingless long enough to be bent into a circle to go around there and then uh, and weld it inside the tank so that's our next project in my secret little room it's got all my boxes of 
Lamborghini stuff in here and my uh, big roller because I can't fit it in the garage. <laughs> so we got, uh, let's, have a quick, let's have a quick look what we got in here. Just to show you what, uh, a couple of little things we got. What's in here? Oh, we got um, those little buttons for the doors. Um, the lights, indicators, you name it. You name it, it's all in you. It's everything in you. All, all my stuff. Ready to go on the car when it's uh, ready. I'm not quite ready for genuine Lamborghini parts at the moment. So, here's my 3 in 1 sheet metal worker. So, hopefully, we got our piece of stainless at the right side we want. And we're going to attempt to roll it in this clique 3 in 1 sheet metal worker. So, uh, I haven't used this this one yet. This will be the first time to roll some metal in here so um, see if we can figure out and roll this piece of stainless into a bend. Okay. Right, I think I got it set up right. Anyway. So I suppose we gotta go back and forth I guess a million times I suppose and adjust it a little bit at a time it looks like I might have to pull this out into the middle but you got the gist of how it goes so uh, give me a, a minute or two and we might have a circle I've done a couple of passes now and uh, the bend's starting to come on there it's coming along just keep going on it now and uh, keep rolling it keep rolling 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 until we get the right uh, well complete circle Here we are, and here she comes. Lovely jubbly. Na na! And here we have a circle. Right, okay. So that should go in there. Lovely. I made it slightly bigger, that's okay, because we can just trim a little bit off. I just want to make sure that's a snug fit in there. Obviously with the, with the, vi the vibration and all, I don't want it sliding out. Well, I could, I could weld um, a ring in here so it can only go down so far. Um, I don't got lots of options really. I could drill a hole. And then drill a hole through the side of there and put a um, stainless steel um, nut and bolt in it. I don't know. Um, we have a we have a think. Are we going to tackle that one and um, see where we go from there? Okay, so I set it up. I got it inside. I got a clamp on it, keeping it shut. So we're going to put a, a nice tack put it here and then stick another one down the bottom and uh, go from there. So that's what we're going to do next. So we got this tack welded together and this should fit snugly in there. Oh look at that. That's lovely that is. Obviously we're gonna it's not gonna be that tall. We cut it down and then we're gonna cut some side pieces in there, let the fuel through flow through because we um we obviously need uh, don't want to block it off from the fuel because that's what it's all there for to suck the fuel up. Right, I'm happy with that. That's um, that's a good snug fit. That is, I like that. So we gotta measure this. Is oh, if we have it at one fifty. She could be us an apps death so 150. That's not much gotta come off the end. Hmm. That should be alright. Have it twenty-five mil off the bottom. 
Ah, oh, we want it on the bottom, don't we? Because I suppose that's what that pad is for. So if we have it, say, 5mm off the floor, if we have it 5mm off, I'll take it to 135 Yeah, 135 people. Yeah, say 135. Okay then. So I'll cut this down now to 135mm uh, and then we'll do another test fit. That's cut down to 135 mil, which is lovely. That's what we want. Oh, look at that. So we have that flush with that. Let's see the world. Okay. That is five mil off the bottom. Jubbly. That's great. I'm liking that. I'm liking all the ass. It's in it, lush. It's gonna sit in there lovely, that is. That's great. So let me some of this stuff out the way to show you how it's all gonna be. This will be sat in here like so. That will be inside the tank. They will face lovely that way because that's where the fuel goes that way as well. And then our inlet to fill a neck will be you and then we'll do the same on the other side with the connecting <laughs> gotta get some stainless steel uh, pipe to connect the two together that's great I like that I tell you what we'll cut those pieces in there let the fuel through so we've cut our let's let the let the fuel through Looking better and better every time. So all I gotta figure out now is a stopper for a stopper in there. I mark it, we'll mark it and maybe weld a weld a stopper in there. And then um, go from there. We got two stoppers welded in there now, so that should. It's lovely, bloody lovely. So that won't get sucked to the bottom. We still got our five mil. Keeping it from the bottom. Lovely jubbly. Tell you what, it's a piece of art this. <laughs> That's great. I'm loving this. So what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna get some more stainless steel. I'll cut a circle with a flange, right? So I can bolt it. I got a rubber there, look. So we can cut a circle in the top piece. And I'll sit in there and we can have holes and I got got some um, nuts and bolts. So I can weld, weld the, the, the nut on, on the inside, and then when we screw down, screw the outer plate down, it will make a seal. So I'll stop the fuel coming out. Simple as that. Right, well this video is uh, getting on some, so if you want to see more of these tanks that I'm making, you better check into the next uh, video that I'm making. 
and uh, thank you everybody for the new subscribers and for sending me a message a couple of people from um, North uh, New York uh, Boston Red Sox go 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 <laughs> so um, yeah thanks for everybody who's been tuning in and like I say if you haven't seen or well, if you just tuned in and you've seen this video or one of the other videos is well worth going back to the first one and watching them from the beginning from when this car's first turned up to uh, where I am now so uh, keep watching watch out for the next video of uh, these fuel tanks and thanks for everybody catch you in the next one